Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Favila, for your introduction. Ambassador Liu of the People's Republic of China, thank you for being here with us. Secretary Roque, the uh, elder statesman of the Federation, the previous presidents, honorary presidents, and senior advisors. Uh, Mr. Henry C., our host for today, and his family and corporations, and Desi. Thank you for your contributions to the Philippine economy. And thank you, Tessie, for your kind words about our economy and our economic management. The outgoing officers headed by President John Tan, congratulations for a job well done. <laughs> Under John, the foundation has continued to be government's strong partner in development programs. Our incoming board and officers, headed by Alfonso Wee of Iloilo, whom I've known for a long time in Iloilo. <laughs> Congratulations for being the first Federation president coming from the province. <laughs> this makes the Federation truly national, and I'm optimistic that our partnership will grow even stronger under the next set of officers who will officially be chosen during this convention. But because Mr. Dr. Wee is running on the post, he was already introduced to me by Francis Chua as the next president or the incoming president. <laughs> it is so impressive that such a large based ethnic group Eth large ethnic-based group can be so cohesive and keen in preserving your unity, your cultural identity, and yet be so thoroughly assimilated to Filipino culture and traditions. Just looking at this room, if I had maybe an hour to speak, there would be so many that I could mention that I can recognize on this floor of Chinese ancestry. Of course, we have your congresswoman from Chinatown, Naida Ang Pin, and her husband, <laughs> Chairman Hari Ang Ping. But we also have mayors, city and municipality. We have prominent businessmen that I have interacted with, not only in Manila, but in the provinces, and so many of you. And this is just a tribute to your ancestors who chose to make the Philippines their home. And let me say that because of your ancestors and you, our country has been culturally and economically enriched several times over. In fact, most Filipinos have a Chinese ancestor in their family tree. So you are really considered uh, of Chinese ancestry if you can trace it very specifically in your family tree. Because if you cannot trace it, then everybody has Chinese ancestry. In my case, I'm very happy that my grandchildren can have traceable Chinese ancestry because my husband's middle name, Tuason, came from his Chinese ancestor, Son Tua, whose gallantry in helping defend the Philippines against the British forces in the mid-18th century earned for him a Spanish nobility title and land stretching from today's Santa Mesa to Diliman to Marikina. So we are part of you. <laughs> the government's partnership with your federation started ever since you were founded. The numerous projects that your federation launched in support of government's programs have touched the life of every Filipino in one way or another. Just speaking of John Tan's administration, and he gave us his report, the federation provided assistance in lobbying for far-reaching economic laws, sponsoring various trade fairs and investment and promotion campaigns 
providing police patrol cars and how many times I was there to witness the turnover at, together with other equipment necessary to maintain peace and order, training our youth, building schools in faraway communities, delivering relief goods in places visited by calamities. So thank you, John, again, and your board, and thank you to the elder statesmen and senior advisors of the Federation. <laughs> the Federation is among the most active of groups complementing government social services delivery. You have the best volunteer fire brigades in the country. You have mobile clinics that has helped your thousands of the sick. Your speedy relief to victims of calamities such as typhoons Cosme and Frank in the region of your new president has been exemplary. And the people especially thank the Federation for your landmark championing the cause of quality education. You have shown that classrooms can be built at half the cost estimated for these projects. That's why I decided that in support of your, what the good you're doing for our people, on the occasion of the inauguration of the new board, I will give you a 35 million peso check. So that you can even be even more generous, as you have already been generous, with your two classroom school building donations to the operation of various schools. I only ask, you have linked up with the Deaf Ed to build so many units of two classroom buildings, and I thank you for that. I only ask that for this one, you will specifically put it in the grade schools where the ratio of students to classroom is 100 for one shift or 250 students for two shifts. Because if the ratio is more than that, that is where the lack is really there. So that is where I would like to put this money, where the ratio is bigger than 100 to 1 for two shifts, or fifth, uh, no, for one shift, or 50 to 1 for two shifts. And um, I'm glad that John already told you about the executive order that I signed authorizing your federation to fundraise for your Operation Barrio Schools and that all the funds generated from contributions shall be tax exempt. <laughs> Meaning the donor or contributor shall be allowed to, de to deduct the donations or contributions for income tax purposes. At no time in recent history, do strong partnerships matter more than now? When our nation faces concerns brought about by the global economic crisis. As you all know, this global recession is not of our making, yet we have to deal with its challenges. In challenging economic times, we must tackle many challenges at once to keep our economy and way of life going strong. On the part of government, we must live within our means and run a lean, efficient government. This includes continued fiscal prudence, which Tessie said is one of the keys to our resiliency today, and efforts to work towards a balanced budget. All the while, we must also simultaneously invest in key programs for our people. So this coming Independence Day, we will forego the costly annual parade. I, in the past, I looked forward so much to your dragon dance, which I insisted to my organizers that must be included, together with the tinikling or what Muslim does or everything, because the Chinese Filipinos are Filipinos and your culture is part of Philippine culture. 